Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to talk about gaslighting. Um, I did not know what gaslighting was until probably I would say about a year after I was discarded and I started really researching what narcissism was and the tools that they had in their toolbox and gaslighting was one of them. And my first take on it was someone who kind of, um, you know, wants to start an argument with you. But that's not what it was because, um, you know, my narcissist was a covert narcissist. And so he wasn't mean and he never yelled. And, um, but he did do gaslighting on me in a way that was very um, clever and it was hard to detect at the time and it took a lot of reflection on my part until I could really see what he was doing um, you know in in past tense um, an example of that is like we would go you know to the grocery store you know like Whole Foods and for some reason I was always kind of like the one paying for you know the groceries um like he would keep his money like separate for big projects and I would always buy all the you know the little things like groceries but anyway um like we would go through the uh to Whole Foods something that, you know normally that we do and when we would be walking out to the car he would say did you see the way the uh, like the cashier looked at me and he would tell me that I was rude to her and she gave me an odd look and I'm like I wasn't rude you know I said I wasn't rude to her I'm not rude to you know cashiers she's like he's like yeah you you just kind of took uh, your receipt and didn't say anything I'm like I usually say thank you and like and so it didn't make sense and I was just like and he was trying to make me feel bad about not like, trying to convince me that I was being rude to um, the cashier and he did that a few times to me and I would and then I would kind of be worried when I check out I tried to really be over the top friendly when I went through because he kept telling me that I was rude to them you know but that's like that's an example of gaslighting you know they're trying to make you feel not just that you're you know like things are at fault with you but they're trying to make you seem like you know you don't have a good grasp on what you know you're doing in life and you they're trying to make you crazy in a way that they're trying to help you almost and especially that's really what kind of I think the difference between a covert and an overt narcissist or you know the lesser and the greater you know narcissist is that the covert one will do always things like that and say that they're trying to help you you know um and I don't need, I don't know if this is gaslighting but uh like something else that happened I was it was towards the end of our relationship and um I was really starting to feel bad about myself um and I had gained some weight and I was always, you know, very fit and very always active. And so it was really bothersome to me. So I was going, I was, now I was going to the gym a lot, but he would always be, um, you know, he was, you know, a vegan always, but he would eat such huge amounts of food. And all he wanted to do was, you know, go to Chipotle and go to, um, you know all these restaurants that had huge volumes of food and I'm just like no and and he would make me kind of almost feel bad that I don't want to go have dinner with him I'm like well you know girls can't eat this large amount of food and it got to be just like a habit you know almost try, like trying to keep pace with as many meals as I could with him and I was getting I was I was starting to gain weight um and then he would do things like uh he would go on his social media on his phone and he would find, you know, um, accounts of women that are like acrobats that are doing all these, you know, 
fitness feats of like you know being able to do these long handstands on different bars and like at the beach like these women with these perfect bodies and he and he kept on showing me his phone and showing me these accounts of all these girls he's like look at this look what they're doing you should follow them you know and he's trying to make it seem like he's helping me but even then I thought uh, that was mean but I was meant to feel like I should almost thank him for trying to help me even though he was he was being mean to me um so things like things like that are um are 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 gaslighting so you can't really tell that you're being gaslit sometimes especially with a covert narcissist while you're in that situation you really um it takes a long time to kind of reflect and see the you know the damage that they they did to you sorry i don't mean to cry and this is another reason why i don't really want to put my um my face on these talks but you know i am unfortunately i keep remembering like different scenarios like that other things that he did to me that i was supposed to be grateful to him for for always bringing to my attention and him trying to help me but really it was gaslighting and it comes in a lot of different ways and it really takes a lot of work to work through so if you guys have had you know especially some of these narcissists are very they're very stealth you know and like they're doing these things and you they're doing them with a smile on their face and compassion in them and so it's very difficult to um like kind of go against them then because they're so calm when they're when they're telling you that they're trying to help you they're not arguing with you and they're almost lovingly trying to help you and it's just but it's still it's still a form of abuse that they're doing to you because they're trying to um it's like they're trying to make you react because like whether you react in a positive or negative way it still counts as fuel for them right um if they see that they've uh they've done something like that to you and that you're changing it's it's negative fuel but it's still it's still fuel for them so they continue to do it and that's i think gaslighting like that really kind of starts to happen towards the devaluing stage towards the end of the relationship and looking back on it things like that started happening more and more um but i just wanted to i just wanted to give you guys like an example of um some gaslighting that's not necessarily um um obvious but you know the the having to heal from from someone that you loved and someone who you thought loved you was doing those things to you um you know it's that's why it's the the abuse is a little bit different when you are recovering from narcissistic abuse you know it's it's um it's just it's different and it takes longer i think to heal from it than cuz if you know if someone did things like that to you but did it to you angrily and think you and was yelling at you you would know that they're wrong and you're right kind of thing you know like you you wouldn't um i don't know you wouldn't you it would be easier to get over faster to get over it because they if they were yelling at you the whole time and you knew that that was wrong you know but when someone does things like that to you with like a loving smile and caring i mean it's hard to um it's hard to detect that type of abuse and it's um because they they were trying to hurt you on purpose at that time and you think back on it that's what makes it so painful like how can someone who loved me do that to me and i just wanted to share that like hoping it's going to be part of the healing process um for post <laughs> post narcissist um abuse and i hope that helps anyone who listens as an example of what i have gone through with gaslighting thanks for listening